welcome to day 12, day 12, day 12. So you guys, it's day 12. Thank you so much for joining me today. We are going to be doing the same thing. <laughs> so ab work, strengthening our hips and lengthening our hips. So if you want to win one of these free t-shirts, be sure to drop a comment in the comment section. And just as a reminder, I did have a slot open up for private yoga instruction, so drop me an email if you're interested. So it is Tiffany Crow double W at gmail.com. So T-I-F-F-A-N-Y-C-R-O-W-W at gmail.com. It should be in the, in the notes of this class for today. So let's grab our chairs and get started. So for today's first move, we will be doing bicycles. So find your chair, sit up straight, chest back, hands behind your head, engage your core, lift up your left leg, twist your torso so that your right elbow comes forward, and then come up all the way, set your left leg down, right leg comes up, twist torso, and then it sets down. So let's do that 10 times. That's two and two. And then three, and three, and four, and four, five, and five, four, and four, three, and three, two, and two, one, and one. <laughs> Let's find our backs and do bicycles on our backs. Bring that right foot forward to meet the left. 
Left foot steps back, finding your low lunge. 90 degree in the front, light touch on the blocks. Look forward, relax neck, and come up. One, two, three, four, five, six, engage your core. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Step that left foot forward and shake it out. And for today's hip opener, let's do pigeon. So taking your right foot across your left knee, ankle kind of a little bit above your knee, flex that right foot, and let's lean forward. Really allowing your body to drape here. And just being here with the pose, flexing your foot. And maybe you take your right hand and you just gently touch your right leg and just say thank you. Thank you for holding me up and allowing me to dance and being awesome. Thank you, leg. Having a little bit of gratitude for your legs. Sometimes it's good to look at yourself and be thankful for what you have instead of wishing for something different. Put your right foot on the ground and let's do the same thing with our left. So left ankle on right knee, flex your right foot, really allowing for this hip to open up. And let's just breathe here. Maybe we take our hand to our, our left leg and give that some good vibes, some sending it some love and appreciation for allowing us to work out hard and just being present here in this little moment of gratitude. Breathing, and then release, and shake it out, shake it out. Stay here if you'd like, or move your chair aside, and let's find pigeon on the ground. So, we can find pigeon with a bolster, or a blanket, a block. I'll show it with a block today. So, taking my block and placing it on the right side of my mat, I will take my, for my kneeling position, I'll take my right leg up in front and kind of heel toe it so that it comes forward. And then just allow my hands to touch the ground, knee coming to the ground, and my block is there. Or a little bit of support. You can always use a second block or block on a different side. This feels good to me for today. Maybe I kind of tuck my toe and then move my hips however it needs. It's really here for support. So really allowing yourself to just kind of sit in wherever you need to, pointing that back toe, untucking, and then finding maybe another block to set your forearms down on. You can bring your forearms to the ground, depending on how tight or uh, open your hips are here. Maybe relax your neck, tuck your chin to your chest, and breathe. Press into the earth, coming up. Maybe you sit up so that your chest is all the way up, and then tuck your right foot under your left hip and bring your left hip forward. And let's switch sides. Woo! Take that block and put it on the left side. And take your right leg behind. Kind of lean over onto the block and, and find your pigeon formation. If your hips are super tight, try bringing your foot in like this. If your hips, or you're wanting your hips to be less tight, you can try like this. So 
you can play with this where your feet are gonna land or where your feet will land. So let's come forward, finding our edge. So moving the block, adjusting, tucking toe, moving your right hip however you need to, flexing your left foot, and then taking that block, coming down with your forearms, releasing your toe, your back toe, allowing it to come into the mat. Maybe you close your eyes and bring your focus inward on your body, how it feels today. Exhale, slowly come up, oh. lean over to your, your one side and come off your, your block. So that's it guys, thank you for watching, I can't wait to see you tomorrow for day 13.